For nearly 20 years, Mike and Melanie have figured out how to put together the perfect tavern. And now in downtown Hapeville, it's all happening. Meet all your friends, get the perfect burger, shoot some pool, grab a salad. You're going to feel right at home at the Corner Tavern. Have a couple beers, hang out, and you just feel comfortable here. That's the great thing about this place. It's like a neighborhood bar. What makes a great tavern? The atmosphere is what, to me, like separates it from just like any other restaurant. Good service, good beer, and that casual feel. Well, we started out at the tavern as trying to be a place you could come and get good food, good drinks, and you know, neighborhood atmosphere that was pretty much an open house for everybody. You get to know people that you didn't know before, and, and that's what it's all about, is unity in the community. The Atlanta Airport District is a really cool area of three major cities, College Park, East Point, Hapeville. It's a great area, a little more up and coming, interesting places, good beer scene, and really the people in this area are really great. It's got a hometown feel. It's, it's got the historic downtown vibe going. I, I live here in Hapeville and I love this place. It's very family place, it's a quiet city, uh, very safe, everything is close by. Planes, trains, automobiles. There's so much development right now going on in the horizon that it's amazing. It's just a fabulous time to be here. I could drink with a cookie all day, just so you know. <laughs> we want people to hang out and have a great time. You know, we want you to sit and play pool, have a couple pitchers of beer, shoot darts. On top of that, we have bocce ball courts outside. We also have cornhole. You can bring your family. You can come and have a nice dinner. I think the main difference with our food is that we don't bring in anything frozen. Everything's made from scratch. All of our protein is brought in by White Oaks Pasture, which is a small family-owned farm here in Georgia. Their turkey sandwich is incredible. You can just tell it's like high-quality meat. They make it well. It's huge. It's really good. I like it. So you consider yourself kind of a regular here? Yeah, absolutely. What do you normally order? The patty melts. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Sourdough bread is one of my favorites, so can't go wrong with that. The tater tots, of course. You have to have the potatoes. I mean, who can be mad at a tater tot? Nobody. Nobody. Mm -hmm. Don't trust somebody if they are. <laughs> we have a chef in-house at each store. Our focus on food has always been to provide something fresh. Yeah. Um, we don't have freezers. Yeah. You know, everything comes in. We make it in-house. The sauces, burgers are local, patted in-house. Yeah. You know, so we don't store anything. It's fresh. You know, it comes in and goes out just as fast. We really take pride in our ingredients. We spend a lot of time with it. These are recipes that have been developed over the last 18 years, and we keep consistent between all three of our restaurants. So what did you order today? I ordered a copper bagger. Ooh, the carpet bagger. That was basically, we had such success with the buffalo chicken sandwich, I wanted to figure out how to do it as a burger, so we stuffed a burger with blue cheese, do a PBR beer batter on it, and deep fry it, and dunk it in buffalo sauce. Oh my god. <laughs> the carpet bagger is absolutely the ultimate hangover burger. Some people come in here and eat it for lunch. I'm not sure how they make it back to the office. You can eat as healthy or as unhealthy as you want. You can eat here every day, mix it up. There's something for everybody. We have several salads. One of those things you don't really think about in a tavern, but they're really big and delicious. We have great brunches with bottomless mimosas. On Wednesdays, we have $2 High Life's and $4 Jameson's. You want a shot of Jameson? Yes. <laughs> We're the largest Jameson account in the Southeast. We sell a lot of Jameson. <laughs> if you want to sit at the bar and hang out with your favorite bartender all night, you know, we like to develop that everybody knows your name kind of feel here. We're very, very driven on a sense of family, not only in the community, but within our staff as well. Hey, we have a unique story. Rick, you actually have been eating here so long that you you started working here. Yeah, exactly. I, I've been going to the tavern since they first started, 20 years ago. So you've been coming here so long at this point, you're just getting your money back. Pretty much, <laughs> yeah. A return on my investment. And our owner is just a really good guy. Like I've seen him scrub toilets, bus tables, and when like you see your owners do that, you're like, oh, this is a good place to work for. We try to treat our staff like family. They are extended family. We trust them with everything you trust anybody in your family with. I mean, they run our businesses. Other than just being together on a day-to-day -day basis, we have field trips, you know, we do like brewery tours, get to know each other besides just at work. There's nothing more gratifying for me than when I'm going through the reviews and I just see five star, five star, five star. You know, we want that sense of home for people and I think we do a pretty good job of creating that.